I wonder what's in this month's box. You know what's not in there? What? Oysters. Why do we have oysters? Because I went to Walmart today to get more stuff for our Fear Factor. We're going to open up the September edition of the Keto Crate. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Well, we have an orange box in front of us, and it is September, and all of the pumpkin stuff is coming out, so now you can officially say... It's fall. It's fall. It's pumpkin spice season, and it's like just in time for my birthday. There's two months a year where orange makes sense, so it's September, and then next month you can say it's fall again. Yes. But after that, you can't keep saying it's fall. Well, November. That's not fall anymore. That's winter. What do you think? <laughs> It's time to open up another Keto Crate. If you don't know what a Keto Crate is, this is a monthly subscription box. It's got anywhere between eight to 12 different snacks in here. We love this because we get to try some of the newer products that are out on the market. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in getting a Keto Crate, there's a link down below. If you use that link and our coupon code 2 Crazy Ketos, you're gonna get some money off of your first box. Also, stick around for the end of this video because we're going to be giving away one of these. That's the best birthday present ever. So, uh, the way we like to do this is we're going to go over each thing that's in the box. We're going to talk about the nutrition facts. We're going to talk about the ingredients. And then finally, we're going to tell you how much it costs. The only thing is, I do like to tell everybody, the price that we're going to give you, that's the price that Keto Crate puts on their little card. Right. But sometimes you can find it cheaper. Shop so around. Shop around a little bit. First item. Ayata. Ayata. We actually had this in our Keto box. So this is Ayata Sunflower Seeds, and it is Unami flavor. Tamari Umami. and apple cider vinegar. And I don't have my glasses. So, I can still read this though. Okay. The ingredients are organic sunflower kernels, organic tamari, and then we have salt, organic alcohol, apple cider vinegar, alcohol. Al apple cider vinegar powder, which okay. is maltodextrin and vinegar, food starch modified, sunflower oil, and sea salt. Not the greatest ingredient. I will say this. You didn't get to try this, but uh, Anthony and I did try it. They're sunflower seeds. They're nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. They don't have a salt and vinegar taste to them. Which is weird. With all that stuff, you feel like it's going to punch you in the face. And like we said in that video, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link for that over Rachel's head because it's kind of funny. Anthony, non-keto person, tries all of the different keto foods. He likes sunflower seeds. He does. But again, they taste great, but considering the ingredients... I would just skip over this or just get plain ones. They actually have a really good just Himalayan sea salt one, but it's not worth the salt and vinegar when you don't get a salt and vinegar no. taste, but you're getting melted extra. I've and stuff. gotten different nuts and seeds and just sprayed them with a little bit of olive oil and then put whatever seasoning I want on them. Yep. So servings in this is two. That, so two servings in here, 170 calories per serving, 15 grams of fat, six grams of protein, six total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. That is a nice portion. Yeah. And sunflower seeds are, again, one of those things that, you know, could take you a while to eat. And yeah. we got to give out the price here. The price on those, $3.89. Wow. Ready? Yes. Who's next? You can have that one. Good to go. God bless them. Cinnamon pecan soft bake bar. Ooh, we haven't had that flavor. We have not. You know, sometimes it, a flavor changes everything. Now, honestly, they don't taste bad. I just find them kind of flavorless. Yeah. So, but some people really, really like them. Maybe, They're not that other bar that we can't stand. Maybe the cinnamon pecan will be action packed. 
It's got almond flour, inulin, erythritol, pecans, or pecans, however you say them, vegetable glycerin, apple cider vinegar, ground chia seeds, sea salt, cinnamon, natural flavor, baking soda, rosemary extract, and mixed tofrols. Um, and it's got little asterisks beside everything that says it's organic. Sounds good. Um, a bar is 170 calories, nine, or 14 grams of fats, looking for the protein, five grams of protein, 16 total carbs, seven fiber, and five erythritol. So it is right in there with my cap on carbs on bars, like, you know. And carbs on bars. I will occasionally have like a Quest bar, which is gonna be up in the 20s, but I like to stay that 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's kind of at the upper limit of my regular bar cap. I, I like the fact that it it's not like 16 total carbohydrates and 15 of those are fiber. Yeah, I just find them flavorless, but I've never had this flavor. Uh, $3 a bar. Okay, what are we gonna have? We got a coupon. Ooh. And pure. pure. This is sugar-free chocolate drink mix. Well, that's interesting. Ingredients in this are organic cocoa powder, organic erythritol, a gum blend, which is acacia xanthum, uh, organic sunflower lecithin, organic stevia leaf extract, organic natural flavors. It's pretty good ingredients, actually. Yeah. I'd be interested in trying. Mix it with milk? I'm going to take this camping. Let's see what it say. Uh, stir in one drink. packet of pure chocolate drink mix into eight ounces of milk, yes. all milk alternative. Well, we're not going to use well, milk. You milk can use almond too much milk. Too. Yeah, I'd use almond milk with a splash of heavy cream to give Ooh, it that yes. thicker. 10 calories per packet, zero fat, one gram of protein, four total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber, two grams of erythritol, making it one net carb. All right. I nice treat. honestly would, I'm really interested in this. Me too. Does give you a little thing. It is available at Walmart, Walmart and on Amazon. Two good places to find it. Probably best prices. And let's see, the price on these, it says one no, cent. Uh, a penny? Well. Must have to buy it yeah, in I, I'm curious how much it is. If, uh, if I can find the actual price, I will put it right down here for you guys. What because else can you find for a penny these if days? If this is good, I'm gonna be buying some because especially with all of our camping, I love having some hot chocolate, some ch chocolate milk, something like that. Last month, we put it into our coffee, right? We had that other brand. When you were a child, a lot of things were just a penny, right? All kinds of things. What's gas like? Dang! You know we love dang. We I'm do. all about dang. The coconut chips, this is the lightly salted. I have had these before and they are delicious. They, they are good. so good. They're great on ice cream. I like eating them just like a snack. Make your own keto trail mix. I love this stuff. All right, so a serving size is 0.7 ounces. I guess that's a bag. Yes, a bag. 130 calories. 12 grams of fat, one gram of protein, seven total carbohydrates, it's coconut. Right. Four fiber. So you're looking at what, five net carbs, but for the bag, no, or, or they're three. saying, oh, I'm sorry. And Seven minus four is three. And they're saying one gram of sugar per serving. That's natural in oh, coconut. Oh, okay. All right, so the ingredients are, brace yourselves, coconut and sea salt. Like you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to have that. Price on those, $1.79. Dang. Better than good protein That's... grab and go puffs. Now that is some kind of title. Better than good. Better. Than um, good. Great? Was great taken I don't know. as a name? There, there's a whole bunch of copy. Wow. On the back, which I'm not going to read. It says as a physician and a mom. And. Honestly, I mean, okay, so the ingredients are under the fold. Okay. And I can't read those, but there is a laundry. Lot a of laundry. Ingredients. Okay. There's a laundry list of ingredients. There you go, because I can't read that without glasses. Milk, protein isolate, seasoning, which is whey, non fat dry milk, salt, butter, cream salt, annatto extract, cane sugar. Cheddar cheese, milk, salt cultures, enzymes, maltodextrin, natural flavors, safflower and sunflower oil, buttermilk, torula yeast, yeast extract, annatto extract, lactic acid, citric acid, turmeric extract, 
silicon dioxide, high oleer sunflower oil, maltodextrin, whey protein concentrate, salt, fruit, and vegetable blend, which is broccoli, spinach, kale, pumpkin, sweet potatoes, sunflower seed, kelp, chlora, made it, uh, mataki mushroom, shiitake mushroom, and soy lecithin. Okay, I was gonna toss this, but we're gonna try this at the end of this video. There's because I'm looking up here, there's a large amount of copy on the bag, but on the website it says, better than good protein puffs were created for the founder's son, so it's no wonder the kids love to gobble up their protein puffs. The ultimate replacement for chips or sweet cereals. Why the company has a serious lineup of delicious sweet and savory flavors, as well as their new chocolate crunch bars and bites. Better than good baked cheddar flavor doesn't give Cheetos or Doritos a chance. Um, plus these puffs are packed with protein and fruit and veggie blend. Whether your kid or your inner child eating these, we know they'll be enjoyed. Honestly, I feel like Why this are we is, putting multidextrin in something? I don't know, because it says it's a physician. But I'm just gonna leave it this. Did you read you did you read the the nutrition? A, a packet is 110 calories, four grams of fat, fifteen grams of protein, three total carbs, and that's it. So three carbs, three net carbs. Okay, so Here's my thing is, I feel like this is kind of like in a competition for cereal school, schoolyard snacks, like the keto puffs. Yeah, but like this the one says puffs. that there's actually two cups of fruits and vegetables in here. Okay. I'm going by flavor. Okay. And I feel like she's saying this is like going to give Cheetos or Doritos a run for their money. All right. We're going to eat this afterwards and see how is it compared to schoolyard snacks because schoolyard snacks has better ingredients and one total carb yeah let's see let me put it to the side price on those three dollars per bag are they better than good the jimmy protein bar jimmy strawberry jimmy. nut flavor keto friendly 15 grams of fat five net carbs okay so the, I, I hate it when the ingredients are under the fold. Everything's glued together. Ingredients, peanuts, tapioca fiber syrup. <laughs> macadamia <laughs> nuts, whey protein, dark chocolate coating, which is chocolate liqueur, erythritol, inulin, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, vanilla, and stevia. Almonds, coconut oil, strawberries, sea salt, and natural flavor, non-GMO. Now I've had their bars before and I thought they were pretty good. But not too thrilled about tapioca fiber syrup. Yeah. Kind of leaning We're towards an IMO kind of thing. Really emphasizing it. So 210 calories per bar, 15 grams of fat, 8 grams of protein, 16 total carbs. So we're good with the carbs. 11 grams of dietary fiber. I'm not a big fan of where most of the carbs are coming from right. fiber. I'd rather see most of the carbs coming from sugar alcohols or even just the nuts and things like that. But that's a lot of added fiber. I don't know. But the strawberries kind of got me intrigued. I love strawberry in bars. My favorite, honestly, what the, the keto bar. 250 a bar. The the one that Keto Connect came up with, the chocolate and strawberry. Yes. I'm all about it. I'm so it. glad they made that. That's the best bar. There you go. Oh, beef biltong. Just in time for camping. Biltong. Do I say, I never say it right. I always say bit long, but it's biltong. It's biltong. I actually think I, think I got it accidentally correct this time. All right, so it, this is the original flavor. The ingredients are beef, vinegar, salt, raisin juice concentra concentrate, black pepper, white pepper, garlic powder, coriander, clove, and nutmeg. I love that they're taking links to sweeten this with something other than just sugar. sugar. So I love that they also have, if you're going to eat a serving or you're gonna eat the entire container because I will eat the entire container. Although Biltong does take a little bit to eat. Yeah. Um, it is 90 grams, per, uh, 90 calories per serving, two grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, zero total carbs. Hello. If you eat the entire bag, they're saying you're probably going to, with the spices, be at one total carb. Right. Plus, there's probably a little bit of carb in that raisin juice. Yeah. I'm excited about this. This is definitely coming with us. How many servings are in here? Two. It says two. Pretty just, good. Just right. Six ninety nine a bag. That's actually super reasonable. If you're trying to get good quality beef jerky or biltong, I mean, it can be pricey. 
Senyam. Oh my lord. Another um, repeat that came out of I'm the so happy uh, right keto now. box. That um, this, this stuff is awesome. This is crazy delicious. Awesome. Okay, ingredients in this are water, sunflower seeds, sunflower oil, granulated garlic, salt, balsamic vinegar, citric acid, lemon peel powder. Refrigerate after opening. Yes, it does have sunflower oil. If you're going to have the bad oils, that's the one to have. Just remember it's high in omega-6s. Um, you know, so I, I would have it like sparingly. If you miss having um, the different kinds of dips, what was the one? The chickpea Hummus. one. Hummus. Um, you'll love this. Four servings per container. No, that's not right though. Four servings per container. Or one. I could have sworn. Oh, Anthony read eight. Yeah, it's four. Four is probably better. Two tablespoons is a serving size. You're saying that, but and it's 110 calories per serving. I know, but it's really so it'd be good. So be 500 calories, 450 calories, 440 calories. Some days. 10 grams of fat. Mm -hmm. Two grams of protein. Two total carbohydrates. So if you eat the whole container, it's not so bad. It's eight total carbs. Uh, I'm one down. gram of fiber, so that would be four net carbs if you eat the entire pack. It really does taste like hummus. This stuff is really good. We're gonna be ordering some of this yeah. stuff. I forgot the price already. Three dollars and fifty cents. You can get it on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link down below. But I, this is really good. Even Anthony loved it. He ate an entire cup. Well, right, and I fought him over the second one. But I can honestly tell you, without these boxes, I would never have tried this. Never would have had it. I would not be cruising for this in the grocery store. I would not even be aware that this is around. I yeah. would totally see this sitting there and just think it's hummus and not take a closer look. That's why we like the keto crate. Yeah. There you go. Your turn. Intact. A lot intact. of repeats out of the keto box. This is a different flavor though. We had gotten a spicy one in the keto box. This is crunchy cheese, black pepper. Now the one thing that I will always say about intact is you need to add salt. Yeah. Get yourself some I Redmond. Find them. It's because there isn't any junk in them and they're like dehydrating the cheese. Yeah. And I don't know if like the saltiness is lost in the process and they're just not adding any more. Just, but I, I just remember when we met the shaker. owner, the owner told us why and I forgot, but it had something to do with the yeah. fact that it is dehydrated. Right. So the ingredients are Chilean buttery cheese. And I mean, this gentleman is going farm to farm getting this like sourced so, so well. Milk, salt, egg, microbial, enzyme, cheese culture, black pepper, salt. There's just no wonky ingredients. If you're looking for a really good cheese snack from a reputable company intact, they got it. So uh, they're saying two servings per container, 80 calories in a serving, and it's really generous. There's a lot in here. Six grams of fat, five grams of protein, less than one total carbohydrate. So you're looking at like probably two in the bag altogether. $3.99 a bag. Okay. Bright Fox hydration beverage. What it are you feels, doing? It just looks like one of those bottles that feel good. It's a metal bottle. It feels good. Okay, had me going until the flavor. Blueberry vanilla. Ooh. Bright Fox is a delicious way to stay hydrated, made with a scientifically formulated mix of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and more than two times the electrolytes of popular sports drinks to optimize your night and brighten your morning. Optimize my nights? As soon as I, I have hear, a lot of laundry to do. It's bold. got vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to pronounce half of the ingredients. Oh, it's got the... Yeah. All the vitamins, minerals, and everything. Okay, see so the ingredients are filtered water, citric acid, sodium citrate. So far, so good. Modium, monopotassium phosphate, natural flavors, sodium benzate to preserve freshness, sodium sorbate to preserve freshness. Here we go. L-choline bitter... Bitterate. I've seen that in a lot of, like, rev-up drinks. Okay. Vitamin E acetate. So far, so good. Calcium pantanone... Hayden Panatera. I don't know. And then... Py, what is that one? Pyrodroxide. Py, pyrodroxide. So there's a spelling bee on and the And then back. zinc and sulfate. Zinc sulfate. Okay. Spelling bee words. Zero calories. Okay. One serving is a bottle, by the way. Zero calories. Zero fat. Zero protein. One total carbohydrate. We gotta pop that baby open. Okay. I wonder, is it bubbly? It says it's still. So that must mean that it's not bubbly. I would assume. Price on that is, where is it? 
Feels good. Three dollars a bottle. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna get in a fancy glass. Okay, and there looks like there's three flavors. There's a grapefruit ginger. There's also a cucumber mint. Cucumber mint feels fancy. There you go. Flackers. We've had flackers crackers. We've Flaxy had flackers. Crackers. And we have two recipes on how to make your own. I'll leave a link for one over Rachel's head. That one is a one ingredient one, just flax seeds and then whatever spices you want. Right. And then we also have one where you're using flaxseed meal with a couple of ingredients. They're good. I mean, these are good. Yeah. We like these. Ingredients are organic flax seeds, organic apple cider vinegar, and sea salt. This one, it says it's the sea salt uh, flavor, but that's it. Great ingredients. Good super, ingredients. Super simple. So there are five servings per container and I can tell you this is very full. And they're hearty crackers too. Um, the calories are 160 calories per serving. They're saying 10 crackers, but you probably should weigh it out for 30 grams because they're all different sizes. Right. 12, uh, 12 grams of fat, six grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, nine dietary fiber. So you're looking at one net carb per se serving. Yeah. Now again, it's flaxseed. Flaxseed is high in total carbs, but it's also really high in fiber. Problem that I have with this and most flaxseed crackers, $6 a bag. Ooh. You can buy a giant bag of flax seeds and make about 10 bags of this for that same price. And literally, when you're gonna laugh when you see how to make it. It's one ingredient plus spices and it's ridiculously easy. Go ahead and check out that video. But I will tell you that we tasted things like this first in a keto crate box and decided we really liked That's it. That's where we got the idea to make our own. And then decided to, to copycat a recipe. IQ bar. We, I need some IQ. We have tried these and they have not like made our IQ go up. I, but it hasn't made our IQ go down either. But I actually like these. They actually taste pretty good. This is the almond butter chip flavor. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of ingredients. Almonds, soluble tapioca fiber, pea protein, protein crisps, which is pea protein and tapioca starch, allulose, chocolate chips, which is chocolate, allulose, cocoa butter, stevia extract, water, natural flavors, gum acacia, flax seeds, coconut oil, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, stevia extract, lion's mane extract, and vitamin E. So it has a lot of ingredients, but they're good, good ingredients. Good ingredients. Serving size is one bar. Of course. 150 calories, 12 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, eight grams of dietary fiber, and then um, it's got six grams of allulose, making it three net carbs. $2.50 a bar. Last product. I get the meat stick? You get the meat stick. I'm so happy. So this is the Tomer Kosher Chicago's Beef Stick. Original flavor, zero sugar, seven grams of protein, 90 calories, gluten-free, no nitrates added. It's got kosher beef, water, seasoning, which is salt, corn syrup, solid, spices, and dehydrated garlic, sodium lactate, isolated carrot fiber, encapsulated citric acid, cultured celery powder, cherry powder and stuffed into a beef collagen casing. I like this company. They have good, good ingredients in them. I think they taste really, really good. I wanna open this right now. And I also like the fact they have the nutrition facts on the label, which yes. a lot of them don't. A lot of beef sticks do not have no. it on there. Uh, they also have pepper, Cajun, hot, and jalapeno flavors. I want the Cajun. $2 a stick. Yum. Okay. Okay, we've got... We gotta try something, but first let's talk about giving this away. Yes. So here's what you need to do. Number one, you need to live within the continental United States. Sorry, kind of rules. Uh, but you have to live in the United States. You need to be subscribed to the channel. You need to hit the little like button on this video. That helps grow the channel. Mm -hmm. And you need to leave a comment down below. Any comment will do. Any comment. Now... If you don't want to win or you can't win, say, for example, you live in a different country or something like that, but you still want to leave a comment, yeah. then just put within your comment, hey, I can't win or I don't want to win. But let us know down in the comment section which what of these products are you most intrigued by? Where are you most intrigued by? Like, I'm telling you, if you haven't tried that Sum Yum, that oh, stuff is Oh, this is so stinking good. Awesome. Are we trying some stuff? We've got to do better than good. I need a drink because... In case it's not better than good. 
Mmm. It smells good. It smells cheesy in there. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like a cheese puff. It smells cheesy. Hmm. No. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. Very salty. Super salty. It is very salty. It does not taste bad. It doesn't taste bad. I don't like the ingredients, and it's not as good as schoolyard snacks. I like schoolyard dark snacks better. If you haven't seen the video for the, I'm gonna leave a link over Rachel's head for the schoolyard snacks cheese puffs. The cheese doodles. Hot, and they have the spicy too, if you like like spicy Cheetos. And those things are a cross between like a Cheeto and a cheese doodle. So it's like not quite as crunchy as a Cheeto, but not as soft and like melt in your mouth as a cheese doodle. These taste a lot like um, the powdered cheese mix that you would get in a macaroni and cheese powdered That's exactly, they, it tastes like you're opening that package and dumping it in your mouth. Here's the thing, I don't know about you, I wouldn't buy this because I don't like the ingredients. Yeah. I don't like the ingredients. There's other options out there. Yeah. Other than this. I wanna try this. It is still, there's no bubblies. Ooh, ooh. I feel like it's gonna be very salty. It, I, it, it is so medicine-y smelling. Almost, and it's very fragrant. <laughs> I almost wanna use it as cologne. I mean, try it. <laughs> What is going oh, on Oh, where is there? Anthony? Oh, where is Anthony? Wow. That tastes like... Medicine. Like medicine and like some sort of bathtub gin. Ugh. Bathtub gin. Ugh. Bright Fox. Which... It will change up your night. I don't like the ingredients in that one. I, oh, nope. I had to take another hit, but yeah, still no. All right. Finishing I it. wanna do the gym I wanna do the Jimmy bar, but I don't I'm I'm not a big fan of the ingredients in that one. Something I like the ingredients in the IQ bar. Something let's see. Wait, ooh, dink it. Mmm. Not sweet. Mmm. Enough sweetness. Enough. Mm-hmm. Not gonna trigger me. But I like nut butters and it really like delivers it's the a nut butter. It's a cross between a a nut butter and a bar. Yeah. So it is. I, I like it. Not overly sweet, but it's sweet enough. Yeah. That's going to be today's video. I'm glad now, we ended on that. If you like seeing different types of videos like this, like product reviews, things like that, take a look at the playlist that you're going to find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to do this. Hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.